right, guys, I'm about to crack this box open so we can see what I got. And guys, what we have is a Gen Zace Redline drag battery. And apparent, obviously I know, a Gen Zace Redline shorty battery. Now what we got here is one Gen Zace Redline drag battery. Then we have a larger box, which is Redline from Gen Zace 6300. 6100. So we're about to crack those open so I can show you guys what we get in the box. That presentation is pretty sweet from Redline. Pretty sweet. 7.4 volts, 46.62. Mm -hmm. 130C. Mm -hmm. And the infamous 8 millimeter. To Dean's. Uh, might have to change to XT90. And our other one is another Jones Ace Redline 130C. This one is the Shorty. follow-up update after two weeks I want to say two weeks of testing with my Gen's Ace uh, 6100 and 6300 uh, both of these are 2S LiPo 2P 130C the Gen's Ace Redline I've definitely enjoyed trying these batteries out and uh Here's a few runs at the end of the video with these batteries. Um, these are a great power option and multiple pass runtime option to see where you are. Um, GNS, uh, I've, I've captured some good speeds with these and I'm looking to continue using these, but I kept these in the eight millimeter uh, format, but I did change them. Um, both of these came with the Dean's plug, and um, yeah, Dean's plug is not what I'm using on any of my cars. So, if there's one thing I would change, it would only be the end that comes by default. So, whether it's an IC5, EC5, or XT90, um, something other than Dean's plug would be great. But these have definitely been good for me. Uh, I look to continue testing these. I haven't had any issue at all. Um, if anything, they were responsible for me breaking one of my shafts because that power, after I turned up my punch, <laughs> these batteries didn't give me any kind of shortness of power. So I broke a rotor for one of my Trinity Dragmasters. I'm shimming that up, and then I'm going to continue testing. See you guys at the next event. Thank you, Jin's Ace.